Climate change can be felt now. Slowly, but it's here. And now our agricultural output will decline, which means that worldwide, people will suffer and have to go to sleep hungry. One in nine people around the world suffer from hunger today. But with megatrends such as climate change and rapid urbanization making their impact felt on the food system, it will only become more difficult to ensure affordable and nutritious food for the world. Changes in weather patterns due to climate change and land degradation, for instance, could lead to drastic declines in agricultural yield to the point it would require an additional 75 million hectares of farmland to make up for the shortfall. Rural urban migration and rising income levels will mean fewer farmers to till the land. Welcome back to Seed Time and Harvest. We're at Ms. Bobo's house, helping her getting her garden started. How did you hear about us, Ms. Bobo? I see you working in my neighbors. That's what I see. So I like it your work. That's what I'm seeing. Uh, I get you too. I mean, I like what you did with me. Praise the Lord. Mm. Praise the Lord. So we're gonna get her garden started. We're here at uh, Miss Bobo's house and we're putting together this raised bed. It's actually gonna be stacked up higher because she can't really bend down. She actually got hurt. And so this will make it easier for her to come out here and garden. So we're gonna go ahead and put these together. Let me show you how. We're gonna use these metal brackets and we got them at the hardware store for about 60 cents each. We're going to put together these two by eight, eight length and 10 inches, eight feet long, 10 inches high. We're actually gonna stack two on top of each other. That way they can be high for Miss Bobo because she doesn't want to bend down too low. So we're going to help her out. She is a widow and we're here to help her out. So we have a one and five eighths inch. This goes mostly through the whole wood here. So we're going to use this to attach the two pieces of wood together. Now both beds are put together, so we're going to stack them one on top of the other and brace them. We're going to do this all the way around, two on the long side, one on the short side. Here we have organic garden paper that we're gonna put in the bottom of the bed. Instead of the cardboard, we're gonna use this um, biodegradable paper. It's gonna help control the weeds in the bed. You can turn it into soil at the end of the year and it's gonna help retain moisture. So we're gonna get this installed. We're gonna add some wood chips in the bed. Since it's such a deep bed and most of the plants that we're putting in are flower roots, we didn't wanna fill up the entire bed with um, soil, so we're going to layer some wood chips on the bottom. And then we put the wood chips on top of it, so that's going to break down the grass that's yeah. underneath, and now we're just going to water it. While we're going to put in our raised bed, we have about 12 bags of topsoil, we have 12 bags of compost. We're gonna mix that in with about three quarters of this bag of peat moss and then add some perlite that's gonna loosen the soil. Always have to keep yourself organized.
Well, why do you use that in your soil? Well, it's a soil conditioner. Keeps everything loose. Makes the roots easier to go through. It retains moisture yes. and good aeration. Correct. So this is what is used to start the um, seeds. Seeds, right? Yes. Well, seed starting mix has heat on it. And you get a lot of um, for this little bag. Now we're going to add in the compost, mix it in with some more topsoil. And we're going to get this all mixed in. We just layered another level of peat moss. Now we're gonna add compost and topsoil, three and two. Three compost, two topsoil. We're gonna mix that in and then do another layer of lasagna. Gonna put a layer of perlite on top and then we're gonna get it all mixed in. And what's that perlite for? Perlite is a soil conditioner, it helps keep the soil loose for aeration as well. Now we're gonna set up the square footage of the garden so that we can get the plants in their right squares. I laid out the tape measure so that I can have uh, four feet and I'm going to put a tack at each foot and then we're going to section it out.